Hello everybody, I'm back. So today I decided that I'm going to do the tutorial on this envelope that I had shown. I know it's been a while guys, but with my moving and everything, you know, things just got held way, way back. <laughs> but anyways, this is a um, envelope that I had created. It's not completed, um, but it uh, has two little tucks. I tore the edge on the front of this one and then on here just to make it look more old I just went ahead and added I think this is copy dyed paper and I just uh, did a light stamping of the scripture and hope it comes out but I decorated the front haven't done anything to the back but I while I was on the moving process and couldn't really do much and last night I should say I finished these this is going to be uh, some a couple of kits that I'm preparing too. I I'm the type of person that if I'm working on a journal, I I switch here and there because I'm weird like that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like that, but I jump from different things. Anyways, uh, yesterday I finished these, and these are kind of a nature theme envelopes. Oops. So this is the back of this one, and see, I just went ahead. They're not. They don't have anything in them yet. But um, these are the pockets. I, this one was my very first one. Then last night when I started working on these seven, I think are, are left because I, I think it's eight in, in total. This one I went ahead added some stamps, images. I'm not sure where they came from. Uh, the little butterflies. It's just scraps, pieces of paper. Um, and on this one I went ahead and added some lace. But before that, I had added a piece of paper on the bottom and distressed it. And then here's the back again, just scraps, a little bit of stamping, and uh, like I said, I haven't stuffed them. I'm not sure. I'm thinking of doing a little more to there. Not sure, because I kind of like the way it looks. But um, yeah, I think they came out really, really cute. So let me just go through them real quick. This is another one. And that's the back. All of these are pretty much the same on the back. So these are all going to be uh, little um, kits. So I got the envelopes ready. I got some other little... Uh, I'm working on the next ones, look. But they're not completed yet. But today is envelope day. This one... They are so much fun, guys, to make. Like, I'm really having fun making these. So now I need to make more of, uh, with a vintage lady theme. I'm probably going to make me a couple more like that and do kits This with this uh, vintage lady version, I guess. Because these are mainly nature theme. So, yes, that's what we're going to do here, guys. So, let me move this over there real quick. So, um, you can pretty much use any book page. I think I had used on the very first one some of these pages. These are uh, from a dictionary. And I think this measures 9 by, by a little over 6. So this is what I used. I don't measure, but you will need, well, I already uh, glued down two pages. I, um, I use my glue stick because I plan to sew around it. If you're not gonna sew on them, I suggest you use like a, a wet glue because uh, you wanna make sure it doesn't come apart. So I guess basically you'll need four pages. Glue together, we'll give you two sheets. So this is what you will need, move these extras over there so we're gonna start with the inside and what I did I just went ahead and folded the page ah it's a little bug in here folded it about yay well, about an inch maybe and um, get this I just went ahead and folded 
that there. And you don't have to do the tearing part. I did have one that I didn't tear. I mean, it looks nice, but I kind of like it more toward. Let me show you. You guys can decide if I can find it. This one, see? I didn't cut it. I just went ahead and sewed completely versus this one that's tore. I just think the tearing it a little bit kind of looks uh, more old. So, yeah. But you guys decide. It's your envelope. Let's move this out of the way. So, I want the tear. On the very first, well, the original one that I made, I only tore one pocket. Well, the front pocket, I should say. But this last time I made it, I tore on all of them. So, um just tearing up uh, on both if that makes sense so that's done now we come to this one so we all it is is you're gonna grab this page and you're just gonna pop this baby right here to the edge and you're just gonna either glue or sew all around it um, if you're gonna sew what you do first is you sew around here and then sew around here then you pop it and then you sew all around it and that's your envelope once that's done you um, turn it around make sure I got it straight and you choose how big you want the flap I leave it like about yay there what is it maybe about half an inch and just fold it Move this out of the way it's very simple guys and it looks very cute so this goes there now if you want as you could see when I glued both pages they were both facing the same once you turn this you'll see the lettering is backwards and it's correct on the top if that bothers you what you can do is when you're gluing your two sheets together just put one backwards one facing up, one facing down, so that when the flap comes, they both look looking, you know, straight up. I don't care because I'm going to I'm going to cover it, so that doesn't matter to me. So I'm going to leave that alone. Same same thing with uh, this one. It's going straight, but once you put it down, the top one's backwards. Like I said, I don't care. I'm going to cover it. So but it's it's, you know, up to you however you want to do it oh shoot I, I think I um, didn't fold it all the way to the bottom look that I don't like so all I have to do is raise this one a little more enough to where it's covered which is there and I'm probably gonna cut a little piece off that's just me it bugs me but um, yeah I don't want that to show so I think right there Let me see. Let's just make sure. Yep, right there. And there's your envelope. You could also put one of the little uh, thingies, the little circle with the. Uh, oh my goodness. What is it called? The. <laughs> such a mess. The brat. There you go. And you can just do that. Let me show you so you guys know what I'm talking about. This, where you put the little hole and you put your little brad and you can close it. Since this one's a large envelope, it's not your your small one, it probably would look cute. I haven't tried it on here. But yes, this is the way you do it, guys. I don't want to sew it because it's just going to take me forever. Uh, but that's how these were created. And then you just go ahead and do your collaging, whatever scraps you have. That's how I decorated these, just using scraps. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. This is this is it. Um, I hope you guys give it a try. Um, I would love to decorate at least one with you guys, but. Uh, I have to go pick up my daughter soon from school and um, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it but that's the way that envelope's done so if you guys have any questions let me know I will see you guys on my next video 
You guys take care. God bless. Bye-bye.